yes people what is happening welcome back to lily white lane and welcome to a different type of video discussing how tottenham hotspur are potentially changing for the better how things feel much more fresh and new at the club and how potentially this could be a new era for tottenham hotspur but before we delve into all of that make sure if you're new here to smash that subscribe button tap the notification bell once you are subscribed as i say so you'll be notified every single time we upload a brilliant piece of content onto the channel also leave a comment i do want to hear your um your guys opinions as i say on this topic that i'm about to discuss so leave a comment down below as i say keep on supporting the channel and uh yeah without further ado let's delve right into it so how many times in the past have we heard that this is a new era for Tottenham Hotspur, that it's a new time for the club, as I say, that things are really changing and that this season we're going to do something big. And we've been let down time after time. You know, last season we started off so, so well. We were let down towards the end, right? You know, we, we came into that season with expectations. We were let down. The season where we got to the Champions League final, the season after that, as I say, when Pochettino was sacked, we came into that with expectations. We were let down, right? But something really feels new, something really feels fresh about this Tottenham Hotspur side. One, right? Number one, we have a new manager, a new exciting manager, right? And one of my biggest criticisms about Tottenham Hotspur over the past few years is that we are way too easy to play against. Far, far too easy to play against. But if you take anything away from that Manchester City brilliant win yesterday without arguably our main man, Harry Kane, as I say, if you take anything away from that fabulous victory, it has to be that we were not easy to play against. We were physical, we were getting in there, putting in some proper tackles, as I say, pressing when we need to. And over the past few years, you know, it's been far, far too easy to play against Spurs. You know, it's Sir Alex Ferguson always used to, you know, walk into the dressing room and say, it's Tottenham, lads. It's Tottenham. And they go out there and get, you know, they get the job done. It's been far too easy to play against us. You know, before shows here, we know we were just attack, attack, attack. So teams would sit back, catch us out on the counter and beat us most games, as I say. Under shows here, we know they got so used to his defensive style. They keep on pressing because they knew he had a bad defence. They would eventually break us down. But under new manager Nuno, all the great work he'd done at Wolves, he's come into this club and after one game, right after, you know, a really good pre-season in my opinion, after Leighton Orient, after one game against, Man uh, against Manchester City, you can clearly see we were a pain to play against. And players like Sterling, you know, players like Morris, they hate the physical side of the game. They want it to be clean, smooth passing. It wasn't that. And that's why I believe number one and, you know, one of the main reasons Tottenham Hotspur is potentially changing for the better is because we have a manager who demands hard work from the players, hard work from the team. And the manager, in all honesty, that makes us a much more hard team to play against. So people walk into the Tottenham Hotspur stadium, seeing all those flags being waved and those passionate fans, and they are fear in their eyes. They are scared. Not walking into the Tottenham Hotspur stadium, as I say, collecting their paycheck and having an easy payday, getting three points, no matter what. None of that anymore, right? Nuno looks to be a lot more physical and a lot more exciting manager, as I say. So look, that's number one. Two, sell it in my Paratici video. We now have a man who has brought so much more passion. Now, I won't go into the depths of how I think Paratici is changing Tottenham. If you want to see that video, go ahead and watch it. It's one of my uh, most viewed videos over the past few weeks. But look, go ahead and watch that one if you haven't already. So I won't delve into it too much. But what I will say is something that I didn't say in that video, and I, you know, I should have, is the passion and excitement he's brought to the club. About a year ago, right? There was no Paratici, and you see Steve Hitch in there saying, oh, I hate the January transfer window, or, you know, I don't like it. Like a miserable man heading to work on a Monday morning, right? Just hating his job, even though it's such a glorified one. Working for Tottenham Hotspur, sorting out transfers for one of the biggest clubs, as I say, business-wise, in the world. And he just didn't look like he was enjoying it. But you look at him yesterday next to Fabio Paratici, Steve Hitchin, and he's jumping up, he's celebrating the goals, he wants to get business done. He's a different man, and that is because of Fabio Paratici. Fabio Paratici does not mess about. He wants a player, he will pay that money. They don't want that money, as I say, they want a bit more money. He'll offer any player that we don't need, as long as the manager and the owner accepts it, right? He is changing, you know, the name tag of 
Oh, Spursy, you know, Spursy, they'll go for a player and they'll let them uh, let themselves down. We've gone for three players, right? For we, We've properly put in an offer for three players, right? And we've got all three of them. We bought in Galini, a great backup keeper. We needed him. Then who do we need? One of our main priorities is centre-half. We've bought in the best centre-half in Serie A last season, as I say. We've got, I believe, best defender in that league at Atalanta. He was the reason they got Champions League football, right? And then we've gone and brought in a real talented, exciting youngster on the right wing in Brian Gill. So look, I think Paratici is changing this club for the better. And that's the second reason why I think Tottenham Hotspur is changing, right? The third, and definitely one of the most important this season. And I understand it's the same for every single team, but the fans back. And, and, and why it makes such a difference for Tottenham Hotspur is because of the size of our stage and the size of our fan base, the passion. You saw it yesterday, right? 15 minutes in, we were getting dominated by City. If the fans weren't in that stadium, they would have scored a goal. We wouldn't have any confidence left, as I say, and they keep on going at us, going at us. And we probably would have lost, in all honesty, 2, 3 or 4 nil in that game. But the fans were roaring. The fans pushed the team on. The fans gave the team, you know, the passion and excitement they needed. The fans gave the team what they needed to go and get the three points, the job done. Just seeing those Tottenham Hotspur fans, and you don't see it with many clubs, absolutely screaming, waving their flags to create such a good atmosphere at this fantastic stadium. So look, fans back, I understand it's for every team, but you look at our fan base and you look at the way we're setting up, as I say, it looks very, very promising. Fans back is such, such an important part to this club, right? Number four, right? The fourth reason I believe Tottenham Hotspur are changing for the better New arrivals. I spoke about Romero. I spoke about Gil. I spoke about the work Parasic has done. Listen, as Tottenham Hotspur, as I say, I've, I've spoken about the Spursy name tag. We'll go for big deals and we won't get them over the line. We've, we, we, we've spent the money to buy the players, you know, to bring in the players. And that's another point I need to make as well. Another point which links to this one in that, you know, many, many summer windows before we've been criticised for not spending. We've bought in Romero on a loan deal and in January that'll be paid for, what, 50 million, right? 50 million on a cent half. Then you've paid 21 million for Brian Gill. And another 15, which you will pay, as to say, at the end of the season, most likely, for Galini. That's a lot of money spent. That's, what, 85, 90 million spent. Now, over the past few windows, I remember we had, like, six transfer windows in a row, three years in a row without spending any money whatsoever. And Pochettino still got the job done. But we've got a new manager. He said, I want this player, I want that player, I want this player and all. And all three of them have been bought to Tottenham Hotspur. And a manager who has the squad and the players he wants in is a manager who can play to his strengths with the squad and the players he has. And that's a massive factor to how I think Tottenham Hotspur are definitely changing this summer, right? So look, a lot more investment that we've been criticised on in the past new players bought in and that's definitely definitely a massive upside to the club and look we are going to wrap it up there i've gave many many points about how i think tottenham hotspur are changing for the better if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash that subscribe button hit the like button as well give it a mike tyson you know one two as to say or muhammad ali because he does fight um does fight this saturday i believe but anyway Thank you for watching. As I say, it's been brilliant talking to you all. Thank you for tuning into the video. And as always, come on, you Spurs!